All right, so you might be wondering, okay, you know, what do I need uh, for good aim? You know, do I need the best monitor? Do I need the best keyboard, the best mouse? No, you actually don't. You start off with mental preparation, okay? You organize your shoes in a shoe rack. You organize your clothes. You put a plant in your room so that you have, uh, you know what, I'm not gonna explain the secret of a plant. If you have a plant in your room, you already know why these are so important. The basics here is that you want to have enough room for a simple 180 on your mouse pad, okay? So for example, this is my plant. Okay, I've got a pretty big mouse pad, just the way I like it. The monitor spacing is all up to you, whether you like it close to your eyes or, you know, a bit back on your plant, that's completely preference. But the main thing you want is that you want to have enough space on your mouse pad to do a complete 180 with whatever game you're playing. So for example, here's my plant. I have enough room, see that? I have enough room to just spin freely, okay? My sense is super slow, it's not fast. However, I have enough room to make sure that if I need to aim to the right, boom, to the left, plant. Okay, so this is number one. Step one is to have that. You wanna make sure that you're hydrated. Now, where do you like to keep your water? In the oven. All right, so basically I've jumped into a CSGO server that's kind of like a bunny hop map and I'm just testing out the desk space that I have. I'm making sure that I can make those harsh left and right strafes. So far so good. My mouse is not hitting into my keyboard or into my other keyboard or into my plant or any of that stuff. So this is ideally the best way for me personally to test out my desk space. Now once you've mastered your desk space and you've figured out what your comfortable DPI or sensitivity for whatever game you play, you will start to get better gradually in any game you play that requires aiming. You're going to start to get better in Destiny 2, CSGO, Overwatch tracking if you play hitscan, just any game that you play, even Doki Doki Literature Club, you're going to start clicking the next text screen faster. Now while other kids are focusing on what Fortnite skin they're going to buy next, you're sitting here practicing your sensitivity, your desk space, and getting better at aiming by the second. Now that you have all that sorted, it's time to talk about the forbidden technique. Now you must be wondering, why have I mentioned plants so many times? Well, studies show that the plants help reduce stress and create a feeling of well-being. So this directly correlates to your wrist hand when you play games and aim, right? Because often when we play these games, we find ourselves super stressed in these like clutch FPS moments, right? You, you have to clutch a 1v4 or a 1v3 and you, your hands start to shake and your wrist starts to do the Harlem shake, but it's the plant that holds our hand throughout these stressful moments and it calms us down and lets us hit our shot. Here's an example. I was in a 1v2 situation. I got the first guy and now it's a 1v1. He has to defuse the bomb, I have to protect the bomb and let it explode. What happens next? Hi. Even while standing in a Molotov taking fire damage, I was calm enough to take my shot. Let's have a look at one more situation just to solidify what a plant does to us gamers. Expected. 10 seconds for uh... Bomb has been 